Welcome to the old Lumens channel again. I'm going to uh, try to show you <clears throat> how I dismantle a mag light switch and make modifications to it. Uh, basically what I'm what I'm doing is changing it from a switch where the uh, uh, contact crosses a positive circuit to a switch where it crosses a negative circuit. Um, I got a mag light switch here and I got a bare body and I just tear everything out of this everything out of the switch assembly or out of the housing and then I cut the the horn off the housing so I just have a flat end and uh, <clears throat> since I'm going to uh, use the switch now as a negative instead of a positive I'm going to want the positive to go direct and I've drilled a hole right through the side of the housing inside okay just outside of the switch body part and that way I can run my positive wire that's going to come from the batteries um, straight on and that'll go out right to the emitter because um, I'm doing direct drive and then I've made a copper uh, flat piece of flat copper and then put a little nub on it soldered that to the wire and that'll that'll be a uh, epoxied into place right here so that takes care of the positive contact of the batteries um, then to do the negative there's there's quite a little bit that has to be done and I'll start by taking apart a switch they just pop apart okay that's the bottom part of the housing and then um, I'm going to take out the spring and behind that there's there are two metal clips okay you have to to remember your orientation on these clips one side is the outside and one side is the inside the outside has the uh, larger V shape in it and the inside is more flat uh, those both those clips end up coming out and then you can take the center ring out as well. So I've got the whole assembly apart here now. I've got the two clips, outer, outer clips. There's the center assembly all coming out. Okay. Um, and that's the center ring, contact ring. Now I know a lot of people use, uh, use or not a lot of people, but some people use deoxid. And I have looked at buying it, but there's a reason why they call it deoxid gold, because they want gold for it. Um, and I'm not going to do that. I'm just not going to spend that kind of money. So I do it the old-fashioned way. I just take a, a eraser and polish all the contacts with an eraser. And you can see it. It really buffs them up real good, cleans out all, all the oxidation on them and uh, uh, it works fine and I, I, I do that on all the contact points uh, with the eraser and just clean them all up real good and make them real shiny okay <clears throat> then I'll, I'll try to, sh to explain to you what I've done with this switch once I had it apart or I'll, I'll take this one apart because this one's already done um, Okay, I've taken and soldered a wire to the outside of both of the outer contacts. Um, and you can see in here, this one is the one that would have faced towards the batteries. You can see I've soldered a wire to it and then I've soldered a wire to the ground strap at the bottom of the switch. That way, I can still make ground just as a normal mag light does. When I put it all together, I can just take and, and uh, you know, screw that set screw down tight and I have ground and the switch will be what completes the ground. Okay. Um, so then I just slide it all together. You, you, I put the contact because it's such a, you know, it's such a pain 
uh, with all this wire and everything, I, I just slide the contact on the bottom half, on, on the, the blue section, and then slide the other contact in the top section, put all my guts in there, and then you can just slide it all together like that, and you have a completed switch. Then uh, <clears throat> from there it's just a matter of getting into the housing, <laughs> and that's that's a lot of fun too. First of all, I have to go the green wire through the, the ground wire through the center, and then this is a real a real pain here getting this in. But you can get the whole thing in the switch housing. Uh, it just takes a little bit of concentration, and I'll put it all together here and, and then uh, show you the final result. Okay, well I've gotten the whole switch together now, and. Uh, you can see, as I said, the, the positive is now straight from the battery right out to the emitter or to the board. I mean, I'm doing direct drive. I'm not doing the circuit boards anymore, but uh, if I were to use a board, then the positive would go to the battery contact on the board. Uh, the negative comes out of the switch now, and that, that'll go straight to the emitter or to the, the negative battery contact of the board, either way. Um, and like I say, it's basically all I've done is just taken it from a switch that uh, uh, makes and breaks the positive circuit to a switch that makes and breaks the negative circuit. And it still retains the, uh, the stock uh, means of uh, making a negative, uh, making a ground through the body with the uh, set screw. And uh, that's it. Thanks.